Behind me is our new to us 2020 Toyota Tundra, and we traded in our 2012 purpose-built beloved Jeep Wrangler to start this new Overland build. And on today's episode of Spilling the Beans, I wanted to talk with you, drink some coffee, and just talk about why we made the switch. So stay tuned. Now, as you can probably tell, we've already made some serious modifications to the Tundra to support our overlanding needs. But today's video is not about a walk around or the modifications. It's honestly just focusing about the decisions that we made moving from a Jeep to a full-size truck. But as many of you are aware, I plan on being at the Moore Expo of 2024. So if you do plan on being there, uh, I'd be happy to give you a walk around of some of the modifications that we've already done. And uh, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet more, it's coming up in a couple days. Uh, I'll put a link to get a 10% discount off your tickets. I'd love for you to come stop by the Storyteller booth and uh, show you around our new rig. But that aside, let's get into it. As you can tell, I've got a couple notes here as I drink some coffee, um, just to uh, talk through a couple of the bullet points on some of the reasons that we made the switch. So to start off, uh, it probably goes without saying, but the power and weight. So let me back up. The Jeep, we kept adding onto the Jeep between the rooftop tent and the rack and the big tires and the steel bumpers and the back build out with the kitchen setup, etc. cetera. Um, it was pushing the limits of really just the vehicle in itself. Um, and then on top of that, we pull, you know, a 1,500, 2,000 pound trailer. Um, it honestly, the Jeep was just, it did okay. It was fine. But anything that was over like, you know, 65, 70 miles per hour or getting onto the interstate, like accelerating and things like that, we were just frankly running out of horsepower. And with a full size truck, probably goes without saying, but there's plenty of power and honestly we can load this thing up pretty substantially with the you know the things that we have on there already and have plenty of towing power so that was one of the big decisions that went into um, going with a full-size truck it was basically we were just running out of weight capacity and power for the things that we were you know we were doing and carrying so that was a big one. Uh, the next one, uh, similar path is space. So the Jeep, frankly, we were just running out of space. So especially when we were doing winter camping and we were bringing like snow gear and wood and you know sleeping bags, et cetera, uh, to bring the family of four, we were specifically, if we we're just gonna bring the Jeep, we were running out of space. So with the Tundra you know, and the whole bed space and having all of that, um, I don't think it's a ton more space in the Jeep, but it's definitely substantially enough uh, to make a difference with the amount of stuff that we bring. So I think that's another check to the full-size truck. Uh, granted, I don't have you know this thing lifted or bigger tires on it, uh, but it rides on the highway. The road manners are marginally different. Uh, I mean, it's just a nice ride. It's not loud. We can have a conversation inside the cab. Um, frankly, it's just way more comfortable. The interior space also is uh, much larger for the kids in the back. And as the kids grow and become young adults, we wanted something that their legs can fit within, you know, within that interior space. So quiet, comfort, long distance travel, um, all made it a positive experience because the UPS guy I'm waiting on like two packages yet before more and uh, he just went driving past so apparently it's not today okay anyways so comfort I think hands down the trunk is more comfortable the interior space is more comfortable uh, it gives us more space to grow so again one of the reasons that we went with a full-size truck um, I did want to talk about fuel economy um, right now, per the gauge on the Tundra, it's saying about 13 and a half to 14 miles per gallon. Um, to be honest, 
that's better than the Jeep. Uh, the way that we had it loaded up um, usually got into the 11s usually. And then if I was pulling, you know, forget about it. It was almost shameless to say. Uh, I have not pulled with the Tundra. I'm sure it'll affect it a little bit. But as far as a small teardrop trailer, it's uh, well within its, its uh, realm to pull. So uh, gas mileage, slightly better. Um, wasn't one of the main decision points, but it's nice when you're going on longer trips to get an extra couple miles per gallon, um, especially with gas prices. So plus to the full size. Okay, so probably one of the biggest questions is why Tundra as opposed to some other full size trucks. Um, I do think, as many of you probably said, that I think the Tundra has got a quality run, specifically the second gen or two and a half gens. Um, they've just got a good track record, plenty of parts and pieces out there. I've always been kind of fascinated with the Tundra, just how it looks um, and sounds. And I like the V8, the 5.7 liter V8. Um, I did consider some other trucks like a Ram. I was considering a Ram. Um, but the aftermarket support for the Tundra is just significantly better. I think much less than what's you know, for the Jeep, I mean, the Jeep is, uh, Wrangler has got a huge support aftermarket, um, but the Tundra at least has things like suspension lifts and cabs and um, all the interior dual battery stuff, you know, you name it. Um, it's got a pretty respectable aftermarket support. Um, so that's kind of the one reason that I was uh, favoring the Tundra. Generally, I just kind of like the look of the truck and, uh, and I like how big the cab is inside and I also like how simplistic the interior is. Uh, much like the Jeep, there's not many bells and whistles. And I, I actually still appreciate not having too many gadgets uh, to interfere with and cause issues with down the road. So I like the simplicity of the inside. I like the size of the inside and just general looks and feel of, of the Tundra. So that's, that's that. Okay. Probably one of the biggest differences is off-road capabilities. Now, um, I knew full well going into this that uh, this truck is much larger, has a huge breakover angle that honestly doesn't really quite even get fixed with a big suspension lift um, compared to the Jeep Wrangler. Like, hands down, I've been in a Jeep for over 10 years and Hands down, the Jeep out of the factory is one of the most capable off-road vehicles. Um, and I really do, here goes my UPS guy again. So hands down, I do think the Jeep is a better off-road vehicle. And I don't think many people can argue that, um, but it's on-road manners. And to be honest, majority of where I spend my time, um, it was horrible. It just, it's just a, not a nice ride. You had to drive it had to hold the steering wheel, making sure it was on the on the road. If it was windy or gusty day, high profile, it was blowing it all over the road. With the Tundra, uh, the, obviously I haven't tested it with off-road manners. I'm not expecting it to be a Jeep or act like a Jeep. Um, I do need to get some more aggressive all-terrain tires or mud train tires and a lift down the road. Um, but we have found, especially here in the state of Wisconsin, um, we don't really need to get on a lot of trails to get to good campsites or at least hard trails to get to campsites. Um, so we're okay with having a moderately, you know, four wheel drive vehicle to get back to some, you know, nice campgrounds. And we've always kind of focused in on the camping over, we'll say the rock crawling or really tough courses. Um, I just personally have never been a big fan of it. I do enjoy it. It's fun uh, from time to time, but it's never been one of our main focuses. Having the Tundra um, and spending majority of the time on the road, uh, frankly, just fits our style better. And it's more comfortable to get from point A to point B and provides us a ton of space um, while camping. So those are kind of the main reasons that we went with the Tundra. All right, sorry, I had to break up a little conflict with the kids. All right, so I don't know where I left off, but um, we are very happy to have the Toyota Tundra as part of our overlanding and fries on the side channel. Uh, I hope you are excited about this as well. 
Um, we are deeply saddened about selling the Jeep. It was part of our family, if you will, and it took us to a lot of great places, and uh, we had a lot of great experiences uh, in that vehicle. But uh, we're excited for the next chapter and looking forward to creating new memories in the Toyota Tundra, and I'm uh, really uh, excited to share them with you. And always, thanks for watching Fries on the Side, where adventure is served.